This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. It's increasingly sophisticated. It's a increasingly exuberant. It's Porkfest, the Porcupine Freedom Festival in northern New Hampshire. A lot of folks have said, and I have certainly thought, wouldn't it be great if it, life were like this year-round? Because for one week, there are essentially no police around. No government police, anyway. For one week, we get a chance to time warp into the future to get a look at what a free society would feel like. And it feels pretty good. Well, now we're at the point where maybe this could happen year round. Sort of. The reality is that Rogers Campground is closed part of the year, I think. But what if some of us could live there for three to six months out of the year. A sort of seasonal pork fest or semi-permanent pork fest. It seems like it would be good or best for people who are only in New Hampshire part of the year, who maybe have uh, their primary home in California or Texas, something like that. There are people who dislike the cold so much that they just would rather not be here the whole year. On the other hand, there are probably people who are stuck in somewhere like Georgia and hate the heat and would not mind being away for four months out of the year. It's something I'm giving some thought to. Maybe I could just start this project myself. Maybe I could try just, you know, living there, camping there or whatever for a summer or something like that and see how many people join me in that. Lancaster is a paradise for about three months out of the year. It's probably pretty livable for about six months out of the year. I don't know what the... Here, let me check the internet. I hadn't thought about using this internet thingy. Okay, it looks like the campground is open from at least mid-May to late September. It's not precisely what it says, it just... It, 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 it's hard to explain, but it's at least open that long. And that actually only sounds like about four months. But it, <coughs> sorry. But anyway, the guy who owns uh, the campground seems like such a fan of free staters. Sometimes I think he's more of a fan of free staters than I am. Uh, and if you wanted to be there for four months, I bet he'd cut you a deal. It's not very expensive, even if you're just, you know, renting by the day. It depends on what you're doing. Just a thought. We'll see if anything comes of it. But you know, I bet you felt pretty safe when you were surrounded by Liberty Folk. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you were surrounded by a smaller number of Liberty Folk, like if you had 15 or 20 families slash people who were on little plots of ground, all kind of within shouting distance of one another, that might not feel too bad. It might, might also be a money saver. So, anyway, just some thoughts. See you there, maybe. Driving in circles around... Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully. Urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.